welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my November Ipsy unbagging and I'm super excited to go ahead and dig in because it literally just came in the mail today and I told myself you have to sit down and film a video and like get back on track with uploading your little unbagging videos regularly so you can definitely expect to see both my Ipsy and my Sephora monthly subscription unbaggings on my channel from now on. I no longer am subscribed to Birchbox just because I had all three and I felt like one of them needed to go. As much as I did love Birchbox, once they changed their point system over so that when you reviewed your products, you no longer got points for it, I was like, there's like no point anymore. Like, that was the main reason why I subscribed to it, because in my mind it was like getting my bag for $5, but now they don't have that little point system anymore, so that's kind of a bummer. So that's why I chose to cancel my Birchbox and keep the other two. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and dig in to this one's Ipsy bag. So let's see. Oh wow, so first we have the little card and then we have three little packets and these are all botanical mask packs and that's awesome. So we have chamomile and tea tree which sounds amazing because I love tea tree for my face. Then we have collagen plus olive and then we have sodium hyaluronate plus lotus so those all sound really interesting and I'm definitely like on the market for like new face masks and things like that then this is what the bag looks like this month it's super cute it's just a really nice um, navy color with these gold uh, makeup designs on it so I really like that and let's see so the first thing I'm pulling out here is the Tarte uh, what is this Oh, the Tarte Maracuja Oil, which is so perfect because I am in desperate need of a serum as I just went ahead and finished up my Yes to Blueberries one. Um, so this will be really great. And I've never tried it before, so I'm curious to see like how it'll work on my face. And Tarte is like a natural brand, so I don't mind using their skincare products. Um, it says, in a six-week customer use study, 96% saw an overall visible improvement in skin. Skin appeared renewed and rejuvenated. Uh, improvement in skin's texture, and texture for me is like my main focus right now. Um, and fine lines and wrinkles looked visibly reduced, so that's really cool. And it says it's formulated without parabens, mineral oil, phthalate, sodium lauryl sulfate, and gluten so it's formulated without those and it is a cruelty free brand so that's awesome next we have a formula x nail polish and i love formula x nail polishes so i'm always really excited when i get these and i mean this one's in an okay color i usually prefer like i don't know really bright sparkly colors but this will do um, this is in the shade Huntress. It's just a black and it looks like it kind of has like a gold shift in there. Then next we have Mad Lash Black Mascara. And this is, oh, this is by The Balm. And that's what it looks like. Let's see what the brush looks like. Ooh. What? That's lame. Or is this how it looks? Oh. Oh, never mind. I thought, like, it broke. Because, like, look how thick this part is. So, I don't think mine's broken. No, it's not. Because there's no way that would come out. Okay, so this is just a really unusual, like, packaging where there's, like, this huge, like, hole in the center. And then the smaller hole down below. That's actually really weird. But the brush looks pretty cool. It's one of those rubberized bristle brushes. That's so strange. Oh, it says pull cap to open. Okay, I guess that's how it's supposed to go. Whatever. <laughs> but I will let you know how that mascara goes. And then, last but not least in here, we have the Ciate Liquid Velvet. And this is just a liquid lipstick. And it's made in Italy. And I don't know if there's a color. Oh, yeah, the color on here is Diva. So it's just a really pretty red. Definitely matches, like, what I kind of have going on right now. And I've never tried any liquid lipstick from the Ciate brand. Actually, I don't think I've ever tried any makeup from them. And that's just what it looks like 
right there the color so that is everything I got in my ipsy bag this month I thought it was really great that they went ahead and included three sheet masks I thought that was really like generous of them so that's really awesome I'm excited to go ahead and use them up and then I also think that this mascara by The Balm is like super weird, but I'm actually excited to try it. So let me know if you guys would like a review or like a demo on it, and I can definitely do that for you. And then yeah, so we have a nice mix. We got, we covered like all the bases. We have like skincare, makeup, and nail polish. Those are some of my favorite things. And skincare, I can't forget skincare because I did get the Tarte Maracuja oil. So overall, I would say this was a really awesome, you know, bag this month, and I'm super impressed, and I'm, I'm so happy happy that they included pretty much everything. The only thing they didn't include was like a hair product, but um, you could use the maracuja oil actually just from what I've seen in other videos, um, almost as like a hair mask or just to like smooth out any like dry frizzy ends and things like that. So I guess more or less this could double up as a hair product too. So super great that they covered a nice selection because I always love it when my bags have a nice mix of both makeup, skincare, hair care, all that jazz. So. Um, Ipsy definitely covered all those bases this month. So yeah, I will leave the link to Ipsy down below just in case you are not subscribed already and you would like to go ahead and sign up. And yeah, as always, I thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to talk to you on my next video. Bye.